how are we doing guys <clears throat> welcome back to the channel just wanted to do a quick video today as you've probably seen from the thumbnail um a car that i've bought for two grand um i thought i'd make a video on this because <clears throat> it's quite the bargain um i'll show you what it is right now so it's it's so it's this uh, vw tuareg altitude um yeah man really nice car i think it's quite the bargain to be honest with you uh, paid only two thousand pounds for this guy so yeah man really good really chuffed with it uh, i mean it's a little bit different to what i've been recently showing on the channels but i thought you know what it's it's still a nice car i think there'll be quite a few people that you know have interest in this um you know so i thought i'd just make a little video in it um so yeah let's get started i'll do a little walk around um, and then we'll jump in, take it for a drive, and I'll tell you how it's been so far. Wicked. Right. Yeah, so let's start with the exterior. Uh, so finishing the black uh, with the altitude pack, um, which is basically a spec that gives you a bit of a thicker body, you could say, better wheels. And it just stances, uh, it has a better stance to it and just looks much nicer. Um... Without this kit, I think they look a bit rubbish, to be honest with you. They don't really have much uh, going for them uh, without it. But this is the facelift model, which is uh, 2007. Um, so it, it scrubs up really nicely still um, now, I think. It still looks good and it still drives really well. Um, so, yeah, we've got big 19-inch wheels, which are only available on the altitude spec um and you get roof the roof rack which comes on uh, the normal one as well but um it looks nice on it looks more nicer on this because overall the the sort of body kit uh the side skirts the sort of front splitter um all come together really well i think with the altitude spec um yeah man and i'm really chuffed with it so far uh, what else is there to look at really so it's finished in sort of black um it's not sort of the darkest black i'm not sure of the exact um paint code but yeah man this is it looks scrubs up quite nicely still um so yeah as you can see there's a bit of damage here um not the greatest but i did get a quote on it getting repaired and it wasn't too expensive to be honest with you um yeah and we've got the back where you get a twin exhaust um yeah man and yeah it just looks good man um one cool thing about this car is it shares the same chassis as the kn um from around this sort of uh around sort of 2004 2006 7 uh they look quite similar um and that's because they have the same chassis in some ways this is a budget porsche kn which is pretty cool um yeah man i guess that's what vws are they're they're really good value always so let's have a look in the inside so this one is specced quite well um so it's got the full electric seats for both the passenger and the driver you can adjust the steering wheel electrically um, which you don't see on many um, I've had a look that it's not that common and you've got these quite nice leather seats which are very comfortable um, and they're still in quite good nick I've got one little rip here but it's not too bad um, and you've got sort of a wood grain which really suits this vehicle I think and this dark grey is quite quite nice as well um, yeah man and let's come around the back uh, yeah so pretty spacious um so one of the reasons why this car was quite cheap was it was pretty dirty when i got it so we needed a bit of tlc um so these seats were really quite bad um but they've sort of scrubbed up okay so far still need a little bit more work but it's okay and i'll open the boot from this little hatch up here uh, which is pretty convenient oh uh, yeah so a good size boot size boot without a doubt 
So yeah, no, just a, you know, good practical SUV. Um, it's diesel. So yeah, it gives you a half decent MPG, though it is an SUV, so all that weight does affect it, but it's, it's not it's not bad at all on, on fuel, so it's decent. Yeah, I'll just jump in. Definitely a nice place to be. Um, yeah, you've got a sport mode as well. Uh, you can fiddle around with the Tiptronic gearbox, but obviously I don't do that in this, there's no need. Um, but yeah, the design is not bad. It is somewhat dated, but I, I don't mind it, to be honest with you, I quite like it. Um, this has been upgraded to, so you can connect your phone with Bluetooth, etc. So that's really good. Heat seats, um, yeah, dual climate control. And yeah, it rides decent. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really nice car so far, man. I'm really enjoying it. And for the money, I'm just so chuffed with it. Um, yeah, so when I got the car, they needed some tyres. So I went for the Michelin's uh, Latitude, Latitude Sport 3, which are a 275 4519. Uh, it's a square setup, so the, the same all the way around. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'll jump in and we'll go for a drive. Um, so yeah so I've had this for I would say maybe three months now um, so you know spent a fair bit of time with it uh, been pretty much driving it daily um, so yeah sp spent a good amount of time with it and I'm really quite enjoying it um, it's a nice big SUV um, I know it's about what 13 and a bit years old now but it still feels really good. Um, it drives really well, it's really strong. Um, and it's only had one previous owner before me. Um, and it's got full service history and it's always been taken care of. Uh, so that's obviously played a big part in the way it, it feels and how good it is driving at the moment. So I wouldn't call this a review, I'm just gonna you know, talk about how it's been for me. So I know I say this about a lot of cars are jumping, but I've always kind of fancied one of these or you know wanted to experience how it drives so when i get little opportunities like this to grab a car like this for a good price so i'm thinking why not just have it for a bit um it's definitely a really good deal um and if it needs a bit of tlc i can do that um and then you know what when, when i get bored of it or want to get something else um yeah i can just you know sell it so i do enjoy doing that over the years i've been Enjoyed a fair few cars by doing that just buying it and keeping it for a bit um, I do like to chop and change uh, just to you know have a bit of fun with a, a car and then move it on but sometimes it's not always that straightforward in the used car market you do have you know cars that are not so honest obviously nice to have an SUV you've got a big size not the most you know fun to drive um, but a good daily because it's comfortable you got things like heat seats and stuff which are you know those creature comforts that you want especially in the winter um, and you've got a four-wheel drive and you're you know what a bit higher so you don't need to worry about li little bits and bobs uh, you can just you know drive and, and enjoy it um but yeah what one thing as you saw the body is quite rough um it's got a few niggles um in terms of the bodywork but I think it suits the car's personality, you know, it's like a, it's like that kind of car that it's just, you know, a workhorse, it's not many be here to look good, I don't want it to look perfect, I like that it has a few knocks, but it's mechanically sound, and you can just, you know what, just drive it, which I really like about it. Let me touch a bit more on the exterior, I'm a big fan of how these look, um, not without the uh, altitude kit or the altitude spec, which is basically a sport spec visually which give it an overall sort of you know a bit more stealth look so interior is pretty basic uh, the seat isn't is, is really really comfortable um, 
and I like the personality of this car that it's very just comfy and big and yeah it's just really nice um, on bumps and stuff it's a bit crashy I don't know if there's a slight issue with the suspension or anything but on smooth roads and the motorway etc it's super smooth um, a bit crashy on like bumps and smaller roads but not not massively just a bit annoying um, but it, it, overall um, good and yeah it's just a nice place to be just a nice practical SUV so we have a 5 speed gearbox um, which is in perfect condition um, the gears change really smoothly um, not clunky in any way which I'm so impressed about um, I'm guessing that the gearbox has been taken care of over the years and serviced on time um, yeah which is which is given it such a you know nice nice feel which is brilliant um, and yeah so um, it's the uh, it has a 3 litre TDI uh, v6 which is you know what it's still powerful and yeah it feels really nice um it doesn't sound too bad either and it's had a remap um so i understand when it was mapped it was dyno to about 310 310 brake horsepower so yeah it still has a good kick to it which yeah and it just gives it that extra bit of power Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, this car shares its chassis with the Porsche KN. Um, if you look close to now, if you didn't know that, they do look very similar. You know what? This ain't the most boring to drive for an SUV. Um, yeah, I say that for an SUV because it is still big, you know, and uh, big SUV and it's only going to move in a certain way. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's not half bad to drive. Free map to about 310 which makes it you know i don't know if it's still running that power um but it gives it it feels good man like the engine makes a decent noise it's it's like it's nice yeah so that's quite impressive um so it just adds to yeah this, this car giving it a bit of power which is nice um this car does also come in a two and a uh, 2.5 tdi which isn't as desirable um, because it's slightly underpowered you could say um, and isn't as yeah it's not got as much power so yeah not not as nice to drive uh, from what I've read previously a real real bargain at two grand um, and it's really nice because it's got full service history it's been taken care of since it was new um, so yeah man a real bargain so this is essentially the mark one version um, so it came out in about 0304, uh, the pre facelift, um, where it had, yeah, where it was a bit more basic in terms of the way it looks. Um, the lights were upgraded in 2007, um, where there was a facelift like this car. Um, so that, yeah, just gave it a bit more of an updated look with some new um, LED. No, sorry, some Xenons at the front. Um, just a different shaped light, really. And just a few upgrades on, on this spec, especially the altitude, just to make it a little bit more attractive. But very similar. Not not nothing major, to be honest with you. But uh, I, I could definitely say the paintwork seems better. So that is something you get a lot on facelifts of any car, that the paintwork is improved. Um, and any problems that were common on the previous model, uh, the pre facelift models are rectified so you get an overall better car the round town is not going to be obviously the best on fuel because you know you're stopping and starting and it's a big heavy car so you're going to get between three 350 miles around town um, and on the motorway about five or six hundred so i think that's okay given its age um yeah it's not bad at all really rather a smooth car to drive um i can't I haven't really got any complaints yet about it um it's doing really well um yeah and definitely a nice place to be uh, without a doubt especially for the money man like absolute bargain um it seems in this market especially and uh yeah de def definitely a good deal there man 
definitely. Let me know what you guys think of this car in the comments. Um, if any of you guys have one, uh, let me know what you think of them. Or if you're planning to buy one and you have any questions that I haven't covered, let me know. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know or get the information for you. I don't mind. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let me know. But these cars come with air suspension, but this one doesn't have that. Um, it's just on the struts, uh, like a normal strut suspension, um, which I'm happy about because a lot of SUVs that have any air suspension just cause a bunch of problems. So it's just one le less thing to worry about. Um, so I'm more than I'm happy to have a little bit more firmer ride and have a normal suspension. Um, it's just so much better, to be honest with you. Yeah, guys, so I think I'll wrap it up there. I know quite a brief video. I just thought I'd uh, let you know how it's been. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more on this car, let me know. Um, and if, yeah, I'll try and put some content together if, yeah, if, if, if I can, uh, without a doubt. But yeah, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and comment. Take care. See ya.